Now that we have our home page set, we need to actually start getting our content organized and into Canvas with our assignments, posts, and pages, etc. And so the first thing that we want to do is we will actually want to set up our module skeleton. Now, if you're kindergarten, um, this may not be a, a path that you take. There are ways that kindergarten teachers can use modules. One of the beautiful thing about module is that when you put the documents in there, a page, even if it's just pages without assignments, it automatically puts the next button down there at the bottom. And we can create graphics that, that point to the next button so that students know that after you watch the video, you hit next, um, that you can actually train your, your five and six year olds to do that. And so that allows you to organize your content a little bit better. Um, but um, many of you may choose a page approach where you're just sending them to a specific page or to external resources like Seesaw. So uh, if you feel like this isn't for you, uh, just go ahead and, and bounce off of this video and come back in after uh, all the videos that are about modules and pages and such when we get into setting notifications and everything else like that two or three videos from now. But for everybody else, thanks for staying. Um, we want to set up our, our basic module and there's our basic module skeleton. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do it. Uh, please note that if you're in my district, that we hired a team of, of teachers over the summer that have built somewhere between three to six weeks worth of content for your course. And, uh, you, uh, if you're viewing this on, 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 during the training, you're going to see that content this afternoon. And if you're seeing this later, then you've already seen that content. So these are resources that you can pull into your course. And so you can either pull in like a single assignment, but you might even just pull in a full module, depending on how well designed it is and how much it fits with your desire for your course. Um, and so know that that's a resource and that they're good quality resources for you to use. But going back to what I was saying, is that you do want to have the basic idea of what your module page is going to look like. And so let's get into that now. Um, and so this is just the template that we've been working with. And there's way too much stuff here. Once you've done it, once you've gotten your homepage set up, it's time to actually get rid of some stuff. Um, so the first thing that I would do is I would actually delete this first template uh, page or module, sorry, because you don't need those. Now, remember that a module is just a folder that contains uh, the pages. So if you delete them and that, let's go, there you go. Um, it is not deleting the content in it. All those pages still exist on the page index. But after today, you don't really need to have that page. I would say the same thing for the icons and buttons page. The one that you might use more in the future is icons, but you can always just go to the page. If you feel like you want it, uh, on your module, just make sure you create uh, what I call a teacher toolbox. And you've seen this. Um, and this is just an unpublished module and it, it's at the very bottom. So I'm just going to grab my icons and emojis and I'm going to drag my page all the way down to the bottom. Keep going. Okay. And I'm just going to drop it in there. Okay, and so this module stays unpublished. It's okay if the pages are published because only you are gonna see this. So if you want quick access to that, just do that. Um, but then what you're gonna wanna decide is what kind of uh, content you want to have, and or sorry, not what kind of content, uh, but what flow you want on your modules. So uh, for example, let's delete this. I would actually suggest that you delete this too, after you've read through all those pages, read through the pages and then either throw some things down in your teacher toolbox or get rid of it. Um, but notice that there are two, oh, don't do that. There you go. Um, there are two main uh, types here. There are other ways to do modules, even going down to the day. Uh, but this one is based off of the units. This one is based off of the weeks. Choose a style that you're going to do and then run with it. You may have heard me say in another video that you could actually do both though. And that's by using an unpublished module. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that here is I'm going to use both and I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to grab this module and I'm going to drag or pull it to the top. Okay. And this is underneath 
the class general information. This is a module that I personally always keep at the top. And I put in here our parking lot for questions, our general discussion board, class expectations, class overview, thing, or maybe the schedule, things that I want our students to, to return back to and be able to get to easily without going to a the pages view. Um, however, this could also just be one single document that I've actually just created links on that single page to all those things. So really whatever works for you. I like this, this method though, but I'm going to hit that carrot so that it goes, uh, so that it reduces. And this is going to be, I keep moving that. Sorry. Uh, this is going to be my, the, the first real module that they, my students see. And so let's say that I'm going to do a week by week basis. Okay. This works really, really well for your, your first through eighth graders. Um, uh, and, uh, the unit, pure unit would work a little bit better for your high schoolers that can understand the concept of go to the next thing. Um, but uh, the way you would use this is I would keep all of my content organized by units, unit four, unit five, unit six, down here and unpublished. So the students never see that, okay? Um, and then I keep this page, right, or this module, I'm sorry, published and this is the current week and all i would do is i would say okay on monday we're going to do the introduction and so i'm going to drag it up there and we're going to do uh lesson one so on and so forth and 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 maybe you don't say lesson one since you already have monday there or you can get rid of monday i'm gonna get rid of monday and i'm just gonna go to the lesson approach even though i have the week approach i don't have to have tuesday wednesday whatever um, it could just be where we left off. Um, and so by dragging content up there, then we'd work through it through the week. And then, uh, when I'm done, I would just drag it back or I would just rename that to the unit four and pull it back. Um, however you, however you do that. But the point is, is that you want to give some thought, are you going to use a week by week basis, a day by day basis, or a unit by unit basis, and then publish and unpublish which ones you want as you're building your course go ahead and build out either you know week one week two week three week four uh with your dates and your uh if you're using unit titles inside those dates that's fine go ahead and build those uh, if you're using units go ahead and build out however many units you think you're going to accomplish in this nine weeks um so that you can then start putting content what i like to do is i'll, I'll build it out and then uh, because only that current unit is being viewed, I can still put resources in those future units. So if I find a really good website that I want to use or an article or whatever, I'll actually just throw it into that unit. Uh, so unit six or whatever down here, and then I'll come back to it when we get there and I'll turn it into a lesson. Okay. So the message here, get your, your main uh, empty units set up again, use the uh, resources that the team has created uh, as a resource if you if you um, if you want to on the next video I'm actually going to show you how you import content into the your course and then we'll move on to how you actually create uh, some good uh, structured pages so good